So Phil, what, uh, what led to the development of this uh, apple harvest machine? Well, there's been, of course, a need for it for years, uh, and we've worked on all types of harvest equipment. And with the elevators and that type of thing, which we've uh, did a little with years ago, and, uh, and now with the wall of fruit, this makes us a lot more practical. The vacuum uh, between Mike Rash and Chuck Diedrich started working on that a little bit, and then uh, teamed up with me to build up the rest of the machinery to carry it and, uh, and transfer bends and that type of thing. Um, the demand for uh, less labor is, is the biggest push right now. And as you know, that's, uh, that's getting to be more so every year. Um, and this, the way it handles the fruit and uh, the efficiency of it, we feel we can almost cut the labor in half and hopefully uh, have less bruising and better fruit in the, in the storage. So uh, we're able to uh, pick with four, four pickers right now. We can go either two on the ground and two up in the platform, or we can go four in the platform and just do the tops if, if a person wants to pick the bottoms from the ground. Uh, most of the people, at least I think here in Michigan, would rather pick um, the whole tree and go through once, and that's why we've set this one up this way. Um, the, the filler on it is set up so that it automatically raises as the box fills. Uh, seems to be very gentle on the fruit. The hoses are all padded inside. Um, we can change our velocity in that uh, because different sized fruit takes a little bit different velocity. And then uh, with it going through, deaccelerates and keeps them singled coming out. And that's the biggest thing is, is when you've got small fruit and big fruit, if one apple would catch up to another, that's when you get your bruising, apple to apple contact. Uh, as far as the rest of the machine, uh, we don't seem to get very little of if any bruising through the machine itself other than apple to apple contact. And that's the biggest thing that we've been able to do, do quite well so far. Um, and of course we're still working on some of that. Um, all the mechanism seems to work well, especially with the platforms because you get, a, get away from a picking bag around your neck, you get away from the ladder, you get away from walking to and from the bend. So um, I know some studies were did in, done in Washington last year where the picker on where they were using ladders were actually only picking 30% of the time. So if we can increase that to 60% of the time, we've doubled our production and cut our labor force in half. So uh, we're quite encouraged with it. Uh, we think we've got a very compact machine. Uh, overall, it's only five foot wide, uh, very maneuverable in just about any planning that's out there today here or in Washington. Um, this machine is just a little narrower than what we normally run here in Michigan because it is going to Washington. But uh, the, basically the concept of it, uh, I think we've got ironed out quite well. We've been uh, actually working on it for about four years. And this is uh, a lot different version than what we've had in the past. We had two, two years here in Michigan, then we had a, last year we had a machine in Pennsylvania, and now this year this one will actually go to Washington. I'm with uh, Phil Schwalier, Michigan State University Extension agent, and we are looking at the apple harvester today. Uh, Phil, how has the apple harvester done in the bruising trials? We've uh, tested the harvester on Macintosh, which is a very soft, tender apple, here yesterday. And uh, the bruising was, we had 13% bruises on the apple, scuffs on the apple. We count every scuff. All of those scuffs or bruises that we saw on the apple would have passed U.S. extra fancy grade. So I was just, it had an outstanding record for no bruising, almost no bruising. And the, the little marks don't even count, really. But uh, I'm very impressed, very impressed. Phil, what, what is the potential uh, impact of this machine on the commercial apple industry? Mac, I think that, Matt, I think that today we're seeing a historical event. This is a landmark change in technology, and, and we're just seeing it, witnessing it today. This is going to have a major impact on commercial apple production. A machine that assists the worker. We can use all types of workers, uh, youth, uh, women, senior citizens to add to the workforce. 
because of the, of the easy harvesting that it makes for the worker. Um, I think this will have a major impact on apple production in North America and probably the world as well. Very gentle handling, very efficient, and uh, just high quality apples.